uh, Dutch did arrive, my bad. The Dutch arrive, French come beat them. Take over, English come beat the French. French come beat the French, English, English come beat Portuguese, the French again. Dutch, Four times. And the Colonel John and Fraser Arab. lose. He went south and become a pirate. That's how he created Fatoto, Bara, and Makati Island. And be, you know, be right there on a part. That's why Gambia is a mouth inside Senegal. The north of Gambia is Senegal. The south of Gambia is Senegal. The east of Gambia is Senegal. Yeah, so the I west of Gambia is So it is must have been some, some crazy battle between the, the British yep. and the French devils. Fighting yeah, over French land devil. that don't belong to them. That's what it is. French devil. Fighting right over somebody else. Hmm? Yeah. And, they, and then literally displacing a whole yeah, yeah, population yeah. of people. Yeah, and yeah. They, were, they were fighting. Because your, your family, the uh, other Wolof, live in the Gambia. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The same tribe of Gambia are the same tribe living over here. It's just about school. If they let us go to school and learn all of it, we're going to be smarter than them. Look at Ethiopian, they, they have their tamarack. They read their tamarack and the second language are English. But they just want to teach us the language to communicate with them. But not to get knowledge. But we know our knowledge has been corrupt and misled. We know that. What we know, they even don't know the quarter of it. Look, look at the subway of New York. It's 400 years old than the subway of Europe. Who built it? That was not Indian. That was black people who built it. We built the whole Western Hemisphere. Me, I will say it loud. I'm black, I'm proud. Because I own the world, because I built the world. Welcome to Senegalese traffic. <laughs> so, you're gonna, so if you come here and try to drive, you need a special driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> A CR1. survival license. <laughs> Tell folks. And you see, like, that's what we were saying. Like, the one third of the country live in Dakar. If it's Dakar, it's 550 kilometers. We have 196,000 cars. Wow. All right? 120,000 are immatriculated in Dakar. And in the smaller part of, of Senegal. And the president make a mistake why he built the new city right here. Because where he built the new city is a part of Dakar also. Yeah, so... Supposed to take another state and build it right there. Okay, so little by little, expand yeah, it now, little by you, little. You can have a little bit exodus. And then you mentioned the railroad is going to cut back down on some of the traffic. Yeah, yeah but, but, but unfortunately, we blessed that we have like the... Red, we, passed, we passed by the national road. We did pass by the national road, but... That road right there on the top, you know, is a turnpike. It's going straight because going like to going to your place, this road is easier to get there. And you're playing around turnpike, high speed, highway family. So you guys are ready for Independence Day? Yeah. <laughs> so. So what I want to do is, um, how far away from the hotel so we can just give everybody the schedule since we have adjusted the schedule a little bit for Independence Day. Yeah, yeah. The 4th, it's Sunday. So about what, 20 minutes away? Yeah. All right, cool, so 20 minutes away. What about six, seven minutes right now? So yeah, so family, that's what we're talking about earlier, man. Colonization. All these different people fighting over countries that don't belong to them, stretching their wicked power to dominate people. So people ask me why Africa is the way it is. Colonization and, uh, you know, divide and conquer, all those things. So we're the people, family. We just have to do what we have to do. And uh, let's build our energy little by little. We'll get there. It's, uh, it's not a fight that you can overcome a new, you know, in a few years or so. These are well, lifetime dedication, you know? you know, dedicate our next few generations and we, you'll have a super beautiful energy in Africa. So much wonderful opportunity, so that's what we're here to share and connect with you. We're going to have another brother that's going to talk more about these things uh, in a few days. So family. The journey of a lifetime continues. We keep it posted as we make our way around. And this is really now Dakar. Don't you want a jet plane and a Tesla? I think you're just excited because you're enjoying spring break in Africa, right? 
right? So yes, family, this is our spring break journey, you know? We gotta find all kind of time when this child is out of school so we can make our moves. And this is a huge mosque coming up right here. Oh, it's a new city mosque, the city? Oh, is that called a grand mosque? Yeah. The one that I used to show you, like, you know, from the top of the hill that you can see from Gore, built by the king of, uh, the king of uh, Morocco, Asamde, built it like, for us like in 1964. That's a big mosque. Mm -hmm. But we have like, a big one that could, it could feel like 30,000 persons. 30,000, me mega, ma mega mosque, yeah. they got the mega churches yeah. in America. Yeah. So perfect, so family, we'll be able to see some of these things on our city he tour. Lived near too. Uh, which is Monday and Tuesday. I'm, I'm not leaving that much. No, I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to make this video. Yeah. monument because we are literally right there by it. Outside of our hotel rooms you'll see the big monument. So, and then, so that's one of the biggest things I think is incredible. So as you can see from the whole lot of development, whenever you see unfinished building, there's a part of the development going on. Okay, we, we got independent in uh, 1960, April the 4th, 1960. Um, we got independent. We picked that date. What day, April 4th? Uh, and, and the, independence. Yeah, Independence Day, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, 61 years old family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, they still try to make us dependent on their system. So we got a light schedule change. So on the Independence Day, we won't be able to go to the African Renaissance Monument. We'll actually do Pink Lake and the 4x4 ride on um, that Monday. And then Tuesday, we'll do the monument. Uh, so just a little a flip over in schedule. Yeah, Independence Day made it to where that statue is um, closed because I guess they want everybody to focus on the Independence celebration. Here we are, family now, cruising our Toyota Coaster. So this is the idea for small groups, so you can just use the back here of the bags. But if we had more people, we could put the bags on the top. <laughs> Mr. Bumani, the car, you excited? You ready to go take a swim today? You got all your swimming trunks? You're playing around, man. You're prepared. You're ready. Ready? 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 Ready?
Cool. Yes, family, we did say this was about an hour drive, so. Okay, Looking to share with you some nice okay. raw recordings. Just us getting to the country. Oh man. Uh, uh. <laughs> And it is the dry season, so a few months you're gonna have the rainy season, it'll look a lot more tropical. Seventeen straight years of me traveling to Africa. Started with this country, Senegal. Seventeen years later, here I am again. But uh, it's you know, it's you go out there, you learn, you gather information. And that, that was literally when I was first just learning all the, about the roots and culture. So that to our time, everything was new. But now, a lot more, you know. A lot more experience in here to share it to you from a certain image and angle. The former, the, the former airport. The former airport. They just use it for officials. Where is it? Uh, just in front of you. <laughs> the, okay. Yeah. No post at all. There you go, Sanika. Your airport is right here. Would you like us to drop you off? You love it so much. <laughs> This is the old yeah. the car airport. Oh yes, uh, the monument, you can see it in the air. It's um, yes, of course. Your like on you your mentioned. Right left over there. Do they still use the airport? Uh, uh, yes, it's for a military and officials. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm worried about these driver safety back here, the, the conductor safety. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, this is he's a ticket collector. He's no, supposed he's to like it. Be yes, yeah. And like in America, it's crazy. People will run into the back of your car. <laughs> so you know, they call um, uh, um, travelers, tell them where they go. Yeah, they give them out, and then uh, they collect the money. So something he, he, he never changed. And he's supposed to he's oppressing driving. Yeah, I guess you gotta work up your way in the ranks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Next thing you know, he'll be driving the driving the vehicle next time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to learn. So to no, wherever we go, the culture of things are going to be different. You just got to kind of embrace it, get a feel of it. And um, like what we was talking last time, you see that building that yellow one over there? All right. And I, okay, cool. So we're kind of on the um, the ocean area. Yeah, by the, yeah. Look on the right. Yeah. You see, yeah. Yeah, but like you mentioned, it's, it's the whole it's ocean. Dakar Peninsula. Atlantic Ocean. See, so have a lot of. Wow. That guy is a peninsula surrounded by the, by the ocean, Atlantic That's Ocean. You don't like a swimming beach. No. But you can it's still beautiful. Enjoy the view of it. I mean, last time we was in Zanzibar Island and it's like there was no waves. The water was just like still. And then sometimes we come out to the Atlantic Ocean and just our ancestors roaring in the water. This, you know, the, There. 